and welcome back today i have another video for you guys and i'm so happy that i'm finally getting this to you because this has to be like another one of my really really top requested videos well first of all if you have not subscribed you need to subscribe to my channel please make sure you turn on your notifications so that way you can be notified when i upload new content here on my channel okay so queens today i'm finally able to bring to you guys my skincare routine a lot of you guys have noticed over the last i have to say six to eight months that my skin has it has just done a tremendous overhaul if you guys cannot tell my face is like literally glowing and really my whole body overall you know really and truly to have a really you know good skincare regimen it really does truly start with the inside out and if you're not paying attention to what you're eating, putting a whole lot of trash and junk into your body, then yes, your face is a very good way to show signs of, you know, dysfunctions that are happening throughout your body. So yes, if you're not aware of face mapping, definitely get into face mapping. I will leave a link below um, also because on Pinterest, I have a lot of pins, you guys. So follow me over on Pinterest as well. I will leave the link down below so that we can see exactly what face mapping is and how to tell exactly what is going on within your body so that we can help with your actual skincare so with all that being said you guys i think i have finally gotten a good regimen for myself for my oily to combination skin so if you're not you know primarily oily with some kind of drying pretty much combination skin then this yes this video is not for you you guys i mean because seriously i have oily skin you guys know i'm always beaming i always look shiny like even with makeup on i still glow like a disco ball it's just nothing it's just no way in getting around so that. in addition to also face mapping you guys just really your lifestyle really does make a difference also when it comes to oily and combination skin i feel because a lot of foods that i used to eat contained a lot of fats a lot of oils a lot of just not good junk that i was just pretty much eating on a regular basis as you guys know yes i have pretty much really kind of gotten away from red meat even especially especially with cooking it in my household so i will not real i will not cook beef i do not cook i don't cook roast I, I haven't done that in a long time so if i do decide to cook it's because i'm having a craving for it but as soon as i have the craving and then i satisfy it i turn right back around feeling like shit the next day so i've just been learning over the last six to eight months you guys what products actually do work for my oily to combination skin so if you guys are wanting to see how i actually use some of these products and at the end i will be sharing some other products that i use interchangeably throughout the week i don't use them daily but i do use them weekly so i need to also share this with you guys because it's more than just what i use on a daily basis because depending on my facial need i will change what i'm using for that particular day so this video is going to be a little bit longer so i hope you got some snacks you got some water and i hope you guys enjoy so i'll see you guys in a little bit enjoy
So as you guys saw, that's pretty much what I use on a daily basis. And it's primarily consists of Origins. Origins is a K beauty line, a Korean beauty line, you guys. And I just find that Origins has something across the board for everybody, even if you're not oily to combination skin like myself. But primarily for my skin type, I use a lot of Origins. And it just happened to just work out that way over the actual course of a year. So I've been using Origins for about a year, but in particular, these products, what I've been using, have actually been working for my skin. So this facial cleanser is from Origins, and it's from the A Perfect World collection that they have. The packaging is green, and it's an antioxidant cleanser with white tea. And you guys, I really do love this cleanser. I've had this since the beginning of 2017, so I think I got this back in maybe March or April. I shared this with you guys here on my channel, so I'll link that video up above. But um, yeah, I've been using this product now since the beginning of 2017. And it's pretty much, this is the perfect foaming face wash. It's formulated with nature's rare silver tip white tea. In a preemptive sweep, dirt grabbing minerals combined with the gentle skin compatible cleansing action of palm, coconut and oat amino acid reach deep to help detoxify and free skin of harmful free radical releasing impurities before they settle down and cause skin aging oxidation deterioration dehydration and even some forms of irritation skin is perfectly clean smooth and refreshed and it really is you guys alexa uses this as well so we both use it but <laughs> this stuff is bomb i do believe i paid 24 dollars so also this video is not going to be featuring anything on the lower price range and i'm sorry you guys i learned too that i had to invest into my skincare regimen so if you're really wanting to see results yes sometimes the only way to really get your skin clear is three ways your lifestyle if you're going to use all natural products or if you're going to invest into high-end products that contain natural ingredients where you can use them interchangeably those are my three recommendations that's really the only way i feel if you really do deal with like myself i have cystic acne i don't just have the regular acne i do have cystic acne i do have a couple of breakouts as you guys may or may not see but um yeah it's the time of the month i mean you guys know those same ones pop up in the exact same places they're so annoying but yeah, so this A Perfect World Antioxidant White Tea Facial Cleanser it has been a lifesaver. Lifesaver. I really do like the way that it does foam onto the skin, you guys. And I really do like, too, the scent. It's so refreshing. And I like the way, too, how it does cleanse the face, but it does not leave your skin dry. And I started noticing that a lot of the cleansers that I were using were, yes, cleansing my skin, but they were taking a lot of moisture out of my skin as well. So with having to do with taking the moisture out and then using a mask on top of that, I was really just dehydrating my skin, making it have all this extra flakiness, you know, going on. And then my skin would just really just overproduce sebum. You know, it's natural oil. We all produce sebum, even on our scalp. And so it would just cause my skin to just naturally overproduce because it was so drying. So yes, trial and error, you guys. You really have to pay attention to your skin if you're really trying to get your skin under control. You also have to just really be mindful, again, of what you're eating, the environment that you're in, and also what you're actually using for actually cleansing your face. I really do like the Origins A Perfect World Antioxidant Cleanser with White Tea. Again, I've been using this product now for about six to eight months, so I can say that it really does work. If you have oily to combination skin, you can use this day and night. You can use this twice a day. So it's really, really good. It's $24 and it's a five fluid ounce container. And I'm telling you, it's filled up to the top. It's not like, you know, has like a bubble at the top. No, this product, when it's when this container is filled up, it is filled and I'm telling you, it lasts you a long time. So I really, really do love this product from Oregon. Okay, so really quickly, I'm just gonna share some of the other facial cleansers that I do use interchangeably throughout the week, depending on what's going on with my skin. Now, this is the Dr. Jart Dermaclear Microfoam um cleanser and you guys have seen me actually review this here on my channel so really guys i use origins and dr jart to be honest um and another brand that i use i'm going to share with you guys in a little bit but i really those three and one more other high-end brand 
that I use um, interchangeably, that's what I really use, but I don't use them all the time because they're exfoliants. So you don't have to use exfoliants all the time, but this Microphone Derma Clear Cleanser, you guys, like I really, really do like it. Again, I do have a review here on my channel, and this is the same container. I did the review on this earlier this year. So yeah, this is the same container. I mean, it's pretty much, no, I'm sorry, this is my second one. So yeah, I'm gonna be needing to get a third one soon because yeah, I really don't have that much left. I'm like literally squeezing it. So I was holding on to it for this video and I wanted to share with you guys, but this one really does work. It does have like a little microphone to it. It doesn't necessarily, I can't say it really exfoliates, but then the micro foaming action of this cleanser, it does that, I guess, same action as an exfoliant. It's just like a different purification, I guess, to actually lift the dirt and grime out off of your skin and out of your pores. So I really do like this. This one is about $20, but again, this lasted me, let's see, my first one lasted me for about three or four months because I was using it like crazy. But then when I picked this one up, I started using them interchangeably. So yeah, if you have like another cleanser, then yeah, this will last you about six months, but by itself about three months and i really do like it you guys it smells so freaking good i really do like this cleanser so another product that i use as a cleanser is the ula henriksen um this is for all skin types it's an anti-aging cleanser actually and this is an african red tea foaming cleanser and you guys i came across this in tj maxx now a lot of my um, facial cleansers, um, I will change them out as long as they're honestly from the same brand. And I really look at the ingredients that are in the products, not necessarily, you know, just cause of the name brand. I really do look to see what's inside each of the products. And so this one has African red tea. Well, one, I'm a tea drinker and you guys know I drink a lot of detox teas. And so with doing that as well, that really too has helped with my skin as well as doing my parasite cleanse. I do have a review coming for you guys do not worry it will actually probably be out if not this week the following week but i do have a parasite cleanse my final review coming to you guys but yeah i like ula hamrickson i've actually been using them now for about a little over a year and this cleanser it just takes literally one pump that's all you need and it cleanses your whole face it doesn't dry it and it doesn't strip it but you can really tell that like your skin your skin has like that bounce back to it. It, it does have the anti-aging effect to it. So I will use this like once or twice a week if I just don't really want to use like my origins. I'm like, I don't really need a deep clean. I just need to cleanse my face to get this little bit of oil off of my face and be good for the day. And that's all I'll use. And so I'll use this and then my toner and my serum and be gone. But I really, really do like this. Again, I got this from TJ Maxx and I paid, I believe $10 for this. When originally I think it was like, $20 or more. So yeah, go to TJ Maxx, you guys. If you're wanting high-end skincare products, definitely, definitely check out TJ Maxx. And my last cleanser that I actually use, you guys, is all natural. And this is the Urban Eden Activated Charcoal Soap. I actually have a review on this as well, you guys. So I have it wrapped up here. I mean, it's activated charcoal. I don't want to take it out because I split this one. I really, really do like this. This is a black owned business and these are handcrafted. They're hundred percent organic, you guys. And this is their activated charcoal. It really does detoxify the skin. Anything activated charcoal will really help to pull any kind of impurifications out of your skin i mean anywhere on the body so if you use like activated charcoal scrub or soaps or mask or anything like that i have not met someone who has used a charcoal product and not say that it does not detoxify and pull those dark places off of their skin like i have not met someone who said that because it really does work activated charcoal is really your best friend especially if you have cystic acne because it will help again to pull all of that you know gunk out of there because really cystic acne is nothing more than your oils in your pores overproducing and it's building up in there underneath the skin that's really what cystic acne is and it can hurt like a bitch i'm sorry it really can but using activated charcoal for cystic acne this will definitely help you on your journey it does not dry out your skin follow up with some kind of mask and use some kind of moisturizer or a serum or something follow up and make sure you moisturize your skin because a lot of times just because we're oily a lot of people just do not want to have to use like another moisturizer or an oil but i found out when i was a teenager that i had to start using the moisturizer my mom taught me that all right you guys so those are pretty much all the cleansers that i actually use for my actual oily to combination skin 
So now I'm going to be talking to you guys about exfoliants and dermabrasions. Now for myself, I'm going to have to get a little, you know, TMI with you guys. I have actual facial hair. And so I have to make sure that I actually exfoliate so that way like I don't have all that dead skin sitting underneath there because what it will do is it'll build up, create dirt, create gunk, all those dead skin cells sitting there and then I already have cystic acne on top of it. So with having the ingrown facial hairs you guys, it can be a battle sometimes but since I've been taking a lot better care of my health, making lifestyle changes and not eating as much red meat, I've noticed that my facial hairs are not as thick they're not as long and I don't have as bad of breakouts like I used to now the scarring is there just from over the last I would have to say 10 years there's nothing I can do about that and I'm not ashamed of it or whatever that's why I'm, I'm having to tell you guys this that way you understand why I'm using this product so for origins I use their modern friction natural nature's gentle dermabrasion I really do like this product this thing now I've had this since the beginning of this year I got this when I got the um, origins of perfect world um, antioxidant cleanser I picked this up at the same time now this is on the higher price range higher price range and I believe I paid I think I paid like $30 for this but this thing is still full it is so full like it's literally still full like I've only used that much of it so yes you do not use this every single day because it is a dermabrasion you when you squeeze this out of the tube you will actually see the granules in this product so let me show you guys in there and it really it really does um exfoliate your skin so this is not something that you use daily you would probably use this once to twice a week you will really use it when you're needing to lift any like you know dead skin or you feel like you may have some kind of texture on your skin because you'll notice that you'll sometimes like get these little itty bitty bumps on your skin and um you know and a lot of times it's nothing but just dead skin cells sitting in there so you need something to help gently lift that up so honestly you will only need probably a dime size amount of this and then you will use this on your wet skin now depending on how strong of an exfoliation you're wanting you'll use um you know you'll adjust how much water you actually are using so if you want more of an abrasive exfoliation like and you shouldn't be using it you know pretty much on like almost dry skin you know then yes you're going to use less water so that way you know you can actually work to get those places where it has actual you know build up of dead skin because i can feel down here when i feel like i'm getting you know some dead skin or some scabbing or something and you know from where i pluck my hairs i don't care i pluck my hairs they have to go i'm not gonna be walking around here looking crazy <laughs> they have to go so um with doing all that using this dermabrasion has really been a lifesaver for my oily to combination skin overall it really has helped with lifting the dead skin cells lifting any of that dirt that grime and it doesn't like scratch my face or irritate my skin to where i can't follow up with a mask i'm always able to follow up with a mask after using the origins dermabrasion so i really do like that product you guys that's probably one of the highest products i actually have in my skincare collection it's like close to 40 dollars, i believe but i saw it i saw the reviews and it was so many females who had oily to combination skin that were raving about it so i said i'm just gonna have to go ahead and just try it and if i don't like it just take it back and go get my money back so Something now i'm that. gonna be sharing with you guys some masks that i use and these have actually been like the only two masks that i've been using besides um charcoal mask and rose mask now those two masks i don't really have to have any kind of particular brand i will go to, through origins and actually just get their clear improvement charcoal mask or their um the rose one for texture wise but honestly is if it's a charcoal mask and i like it i'll just use it so it's, i'm not really particular on that but when it comes to actually taking care of my cystic acne for my oily to combination skin yeah i need something that's going to combat that i need something that's going to help 
you know draw those impurities out help to minimize any kind of breakouts that i may be having but not drying my skin out and so i was using one from um peter thomas roth and um, I really did like it, but it was a little bit too strong on my skin. So I was, and I noticed too that it was actually causing more breakouts. So I had to stop using it after a while. So this is the Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask to Rescue Problem Skin. You can use this daily. I use this almost daily. Well, I mean like literally, I almost use this mask daily. And you really don't need a lot. You probably need about i would say a nickel to a quarter size amount depending on how thick of a mask you're wanting so i mean if you're really trying to get everything covered you don't want to see anything you know then you're going to use quite a bit of it but if you're just really just trying to cover your face cover some of those places you know where you're having a severe breakout like i was having as you guys saw yeah you're going to want to put this on there and just make sure it's covered and also too you can use this as an overnight spot treatment i've done that alexa's done that i mean so yeah i really do like this mask i think this is i think about twenty dollars i think <laughs> I mean, you guys, honestly, I don't buy everything at the same time, so it's not expensive to me. I only go and repurchase when I've ran out. But, yeah, I really do like this mask. And, again, this is the Origins Out of Trouble 10-Minute Mask to Rescue Problem Skin. And I'm telling you, if you're all this combination skin, use it, girl. Use it. Because I'm telling you, sometimes I use it twice a day. Sometimes I use it once a day. And then some days I don't use it at all. I will actually go and use another product. And this is from Ula Henriksen. And this is their Blue Black Berry Enzyme Mask. And this is for all skin types. It's a reparative gel mask that hydrates with aloe and lavender. And so this is what the packaging looks like. And I actually picked this up at TJ Maxx. And this mask was only about, I think it was like $10. Yeah, it was like $10. And I think originally it may have been like close to $20. And again, y'all don't sleep on TJ Maxx. You want the high-end stuff and the makeup, go to TJ Maxx. That's where you can get your, um, you know, high-end skincare. And now I've not come across Origins, but this is what the mask looks like. I'm just going to show you guys. And it's clear. And this mask... It smells so good. It smells like berries. It smells so good, so it just makes you want to put it on. Pretty much, it hydrates and renews with this amazing blend of blueberry, blackberry, and papaya enzymes while experiencing the calming benefits of aromatic lavender. I kid you not. So it smells like berries, but then when you put it on your skin, it has a cooling effect to it. It really does. So I like to use this sometimes after the dermabrasion because if I feel like I might have went in a little bit too heavy or I might feel that my skin may have gotten, you know, a little irritated just from me needing to necessarily exfoliate. But yes, I will follow up with this enzyme mask. The enzyme mask now it is going to lighten your face because I mean, think about it. It has enzymes. It has papaya in it too. And papaya is really good for um, alkaline, you guys. It's really good for your, um, for your digestive tract too. So you got to think, anything you put on your skin, your whole body is actually absorbing that. It's getting into your whole bloodstream. And so, um... Pretty much after you've used a facial cleanser, put a thick layer on, on your face and on your neck. And then the mask can be used under the eyes as well. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. Okay, that's new. Leave on for 20 minutes and then rinse with water. You can use this two to three times weekly. And I like to rinse this with cool water because it just really leaves your face feeling smooth and cool. It really just gives it that soothing, calming effect, you guys. It really does. It just feels so amazing. So, yeah. Okay, so the last thing that I have to share with you guys from my skincare regimen is what I use for a toner and also what I use for actually moisturizing my skin. And I'm pretty sure you you guys know what it is if you follow me over on instagram and you see me use this every damn day pretty much <laughs> so this is from ulan henriksen and this is for dry sensitive skin so see this is going to be moisturizing because see if you have dry skin that you deal with having moisture you know you have a lot of flaking and stuff like that so you know just because it says dry and sensitive does not mean you cannot use it for your oily to combination skin okay because let me tell you guys it really works so this is their Balancing Cucumber Face Mist, and it's a skin brightening toner. It helps calm, renew, and soften the skin. I picked this up from TJ Maxx. I think we paid like $10 or so for it, and originally I think it was like $20 or more. And this stuff really does work, you guys. Like, I'm almost, I'm thinking like halfway through the bottle now. Yeah, I'm a little bit more than halfway, so I'm going to have to look for this again because this has really helped with minimizing and toning my skin i used to use witch hazel and toners all the time but 
they just never seem to work and sometimes people say that your skin gets used to using certain products for a certain extensive you know so for a certain amount of time and you you know your skin gets, gets used to it and the product doesn't necessarily stop working it's just it, your skin is just not receptive to it anymore so you need to change it up so I decided to incorporate a toner back into it especially when I saw it had cucumber in it because wait a minute cucumber is good as well for having that calming soothing effect and it's really good for also helping to minimize your pores you guys so yeah cucumber is like bay over here in this household and I was so excited when I actually found this at TJ Maxx so yeah um, after cleansing, mist or apply balancing cucumber to skin with a clot with a clean cotton square or or ball. This is rub gently over face and neck and concentrating on the T zone. So you know, like right here, as you guys cannot tell, this is my T zone. Look at look at that. And I'm already glistening. I haven't even been back outside yet, and I'm already glistening. Already. <laughs> yeah so this product let me see it contains aloe vera chamomile and pure korean ginseng oh and ginseng is good my mom used to give us ginseng as kids so if your mom was into giving you those holistic remedies and those shots and those you know stuff like that leave a comment down below my mom was always giving us something that's probably why we were so healthy as damn kids thanks mom <laughs> so everything i'm showing you guys today i have used i did use this facial cleanser as you guys saw I used the microdermabrasion today after using the spin brush because I need to go a little bit more underneath here. And then I followed that with the Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask. And then I used my Balancing Toner. And then I also followed this up afterwards using my Sunday Riley Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. Now you guys saw that I shared this with you earlier on in 2017. And I got this during the Sephora VIB sale this is originally eighty dollars so i went in there intentionally going to get the forty dollar one but look look at how much i have used let me show you guys can y'all see that look at that i have used all of this so that is why it's taking me so long to come to you guys with a video because i know the question was going to be queen did that serum really work for your oily to combination skin and i have to tell you guys yes this ultra clarifying face oil is no joke is for the management and prevention of acne and blackheads this 1.5 salicylic acid medicated dry oil clears congested pores no lie when i first started using this product i was using it twice a day and that's how i started off because i needed to use it that way i was trying to see how my skin would react to it and for like the first month my skin was very receptive to the twice a day drops i think i was using about four to five in the morning and at night but then after a while i think it started irritating my skin so then i stopped using it twice a day i started just only using it in the morning and honestly to you guys i stopped washing my face at night now that i think about it because um i just really haven't had a need for it i don't wear makeup on a daily basis now if i did wear makeup i'm going to wash my face again but um yeah i stopped washing my face twice a day so i guess that helped with my skin not drying out as much and it also kept me from having to use products as much as well so you know sometimes overusing products can actually irritate your skin too you guys so yeah i went from washing my face twice a day to once a day i cut back from using the ultra clarifying face oil twice a day as well so now i only use this once a day and i use this in the morning time and i use between six to eight drops some, well, no, I use between five to seven drops. I'm sorry. And so this is what it looks like out of the package. It just It's just a green actual facial oil, you guys. And I really, really do like it. So, yes, I will continue keeping this in my regimen. This is the highest product that I have in my skincare regimen now that I think about it. Um, again, this oil is $80, but they now have a three they have a kit right now and it's, it has this oil in it as well as the mask and the cleanser and i believe it's between 60 to 75 dollars so very good investment because each product alone is about between 70 to 80 dollars itself so to get all three of them just in about a bit smaller size packaging you you, you can't beat that so definitely if you're wanting to try the ufo Clarifying, clarifying facial oil from Sunday Riley. Go to Sephora, get it. They're having it in a holiday package. You do not want to miss out because I'm actually going to repurchase it that way. Because originally I did want the $40 packaging, and it's a lot. I mean, it's half the size, you guys. And it was $40, but 
for whatever reason this was meant to be because this oil i kid you not i have been using it and it's like gone so like yeah i'll probably get like maybe another month out of this but after that i'm going to have to restock up on it you guys so I know this video is quite long, Queens, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, I had to wait to bring you guys this video because i that's the only way I was going to be able to share with you guys what I have been doing. So please, please, please share this video on all your favorite social media you know, outlets. And if you would like, please tag me over on Instagram if you have any questions or if you want to just tag me in your photos of your progress on your oily and combination skin care journey, you guys. Everyone can have beautiful glowing skin skin and you do not have to be a gazillionaire to have beautiful skin okay love the skin you're in i'm loving where my skin is at right now on its own personal journey and i just thank you guys so much for all of your love and support queens please make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next upload queens be blessed Bye.